having done the search myself, having been born in the largest mother and baby home in Ireland, and it wasn't an easy search for me. So I actually fell into becoming a search angel just by, I suppose, chance. Uh, and then I found that I was very good at it. And certainly it's, it's a huge passion for me to reunite people with their blood. Well, I suppose from the foundation of the state in 1922, certainly in Ireland, we became a very Catholic, but it was organized religion and there was so much evil in, um, I suppose, mother and baby homes, industrial schools, Magdalene laundries. Um, what those nuns did to our mothers was short of murder, you know, and to take their children away from them and for us to be uh, our names, everything was changed. They, they would never find us and the Catholic Church made sure of that. The corruption that has gone on and certainly with my searching and the paperwork that I have seen, confidential paperwork, the amount of corruption is unbelievable. The amount of millions that they have made off the back of the lost children of Ireland and that's what we are. When I went to meet the Pope I can't describe the feeling uh, the presence of this man walking into the room and certainly when he did deliver what I asked him to say at the Mass the next day was incredible. Um, it's not that I'm a Catholic, I'm not pro-organised religion, but in a very spiritual sense I walked away with something that really changed the world and changed our community to say that it wasn't a mortal sin for blood, for a mother to look for her child or vice versa. That for me was tremendous.